is there any way to convey this, the idea of post-infidelity stress disorder, to the betrayers so they can know the damage they have caused? Thank you for this question. Yes, absolutely. I really encourage you to sit down with your partner and tell them about how their behaviors have affected you. And because you wrote this, I'm assuming you've tried that and it hasn't gone well and they don't want to hear about it or they don't want to listen or they just get up and say, why are you picking a fight? So if that's the case, then what I'd encourage you to do is write your partner a letter or an email. And somehow we want to communicate the message that I love you. I want to try to work on this relationship with you. Our relationship has experienced a profound trauma and I have experienced the trauma. Um, you may also have trauma from how you behaved. And I am suffering from post-infidelity stress disorder. And as a result, I do these six or seven things because I don't feel good. And I am very on edge all of the time. I would like for you to help me heal from this. And here are the things specifically you could do. The most important thing to convey is that you really need them to talk with you. And more than talk, you need them to listen to you, right? Listen to you, listen for feelings, validate those feelings, even if they don't see it the same way, and reassure you. This is really hard for a lot of people to do because they were not taught how to cope with feeling uncomfortable and instead of focusing on themselves, focus on somebody else. So you can talk to them about that and say, I need for you for 20 minutes for you to sit and just focus on me. Don't worry about defending yourself. Don't bring up a bunch of explanations and context. Don't shut me down. Don't, you know, pretend to be a stone wall and just uh, ignore me. I need for you to listen to me, help take care of my feelings. If you can do this for me, I could heal a lot faster and we can get through this. And also offer to talk to them and help them heal because they may have a lot of feelings about their behavior too. Like they may be horrified by some of their choices. They may be really disgusted that they sort of rationalized a lot of stuff that now that they're out of the affair, they can see more clearly. So I hope that gives you some starting point for how to talk to your partner about the affair. The bottom line is we have to talk to heal. So convey this however you can, even if it's a text message to your partner so that they understand this is what we have to do next. Hope that helps. Good luck.